Hi there, I'm Carter, and this is my dad, Warren. Together, we wrote a book called Hello World, Computer Programming for Kids and Other Beginners. Today, I'm going to tell you about how to make a simple temperature conversion program in something called Python Card, which we described a lot in the book. So what is Python Card? Python Card is a basically a Python GUI creator. It's pretty easy to use, and, but it allows you to make really powerful programs. So first let's get started using the resource editor. So in your in Python card in your programs menu, click on resource editor. Let's create a new file, a standard template with file exit menu because that's a normal program. And let's save it on our desktop and call it and call it tempconv conv because it's a temperature conversion program. So in our component menu here there are lots of different things you can put in like buttons, like text fields, like static texts, lots of different things. Let's start off with just a simple text field. I'm going to call it Celsius and not put any text in it for now. So I'll just put it here. So I'm also going to put a static text which is basically like a label and I'm going to say Celsius. So this is where the user will type in the temperature to convert? Yes, this is where the user will type in the temperature to convert. Or not necessarily, only if they're converting a Celsius temperature into a Fahrenheit one. So let's also use, create something called a spinner. It's a text block with a number in it with little arrows on the side to adjust it up and down. So I'm going to call this Fahrenheit. As you can see, it is something with a number in it with buttons on the side to move it up and down. I'll also put another label this one will say Fahrenheit. I'll also put two buttons to decide which way to convert. I'll say C to F, that's what I'm calling it. And I'll also say Celsius to Fahrenheit. Because you'll use this button to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit. I'll also put a little arrow there to show which way it's going. I'll also put another button for Fahrenheit to Celsius. So this is our GUI, but how do you make a program? How do you make the GUI do stuff? Well, first we'll save our resource editor, and then we'll open up another Python file it created. But what about this one? This one is the resource file. It saves everything here that we just created. If we open it, then you'll see it's just a regular Python file with a bunch of stuff in it. This stuff is what we just defined here. All the locations of the buttons. Yeah, all the locations of the buttons and everything. But since we won't be editing that, since it, the resource editor takes care of that, why don't we just open up our Python file? You can see there's lots of stuff here. It's just what it thinks you should have at the moment. And s see this function here called onInitialize? That's what happens at the start of the program, but since we don't have anything to do at the start, we'll just leave this blank. And this my background class, that's actually just your window. So let's make a new function called on C to F mouse click. And this is just saying when the mouse clicks the C to F button. And the reason I'm putting this self event here is because whenever 
the window calls one of these because something has happened it gives it two objects a copy of itself and also just a little thing with everything that happened where the mouse was and everything about the event so in this function we will want to convert the Celsius to Fahrenheit so the way to get out the Celsius would be self dot components dot celsius dot text but since that's too long let's put it in a variable called c but since this is a text fu this is text here and not a number we'll need to convert it to a number let's use the int function if you wanted to have floating point numbers or decimal numbers here you could use float instead but I'm just going to use int here so the formula for Celsius to Fahrenheit is C times 9.0 divided by 5 plus 32 so now we have our Fahrenheit stored in a variable here so let's just put it in our Fahrenheit box so we can say self dot components dot height dot value equals f since in this since the spinner can only handle numbers we don't need to convert anything here so let's save this and see if it works I'm just going to close the file exit menu here and I'm going to open the tempconf.py file so let's try converting a number say 20 to Fahrenheit gives us 68 that seems about right yeah but we don't only want to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit we also want to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius so let's create another event handler here that's the name for these functions on F to C mouse click so now we can say self dot components dot celsius dot text equals string C in string Beca the reason we want to put C as a string is, like before, the text box has text in it, text in it, not a number. So why don't we try and see if this works? So, hey Daddy, how, mu how hot would you think it would be outside? I think it's around 52. Today. 52. Okay. Rip that, and that's 11.11111111. That's a lot of ones. Yep. It's like the right temperature, though. Yeah, it's the right temperature, so we can say that everything is working fine. Yeah, in the book, we also made a hangman. So, hangman, it's still pretty simple. It's not the most you can do with Python card. But you see there's a word here, and there's a hangman thing. So if we guess letter, why don't we say Q? I don't know. I don't think that's actually in there. So it will give us wrong, but if we get a letter correct, like E, then it's right. I'll also show you how I made this if we open Resource Editor again. We can open the resource file here, and you can see how I built it. The guess letter and guess the word are buttons, the your guesses, and the thing below it that it puts your guesses in are text our static text as well as the word here and I constructed this thing by using the static line objects but since it only does vertical and horizontal lines for the legs I each used static text objects but with the, with slashes instead and the head is also a static text but it's an O and that was just a simple introduction to Python card. You can do many more things with it and we talk about different uses for it in our book. Thank you. Bye bye.